With this WMER 2 News update, I'm Kelly Swoop. It is a big hit to Baltimore's economy. Lockheed Martin says it's closing its Middle River facility in the county in order to cut costs. 465 people work at the facility. The company says most of its prestigious positions will transfer to other Lockheed facilities. At least 140 of those positions will stay in Maryland. Even though that may not be permanent, Lockheed says those workers will be teleworking. Lockheed says the site will close between March and June of 2023. They add the shutdown does not impact its corporate air operations at Martin State Airport, which is next to their Middle River site. A misfire stopped a Baltimore officer from getting shot in the line of duty. That's what BPD says happened in an officer involved shooting last night near the corner of East Pratt Street and Marketplace. They say a bystander flagged down two officers saying someone had been shot. As one officer gave aid, the other called for backup and chased the suspect to a garage. Police say the man pulled out a gun. But police say it misfired. Officers shot and killed the man in response. The man has been identified as Benjamin Tyson of Baltimore. The original shooting victim was taken to the hospital and is in stable condition tonight. Let's take a look at the vaccine efforts across the state tonight. So far, more than 1,226,000 doses have been administered. More than 38,000 in just the last day. Meanwhile, the state recording 970 new COVID-19 cases yesterday. So far, there have been 380,436 confirmed cases here in Maryland. Positivity rate is dropping, though. Right now, it is at 3.66% and hospitalizations also down to 943. Sadly, in the last day, an additional 33 deaths, bringing that number up to 7,000. 656. And we will be waking up with rain as we start off your Saturday. So make sure to dust off the umbrellas. You'll need the rain boots as well. We'll be waking up with temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. And then temperatures will quickly climb back into the low to mid 50s by noon. And then mid to upper 50s later on in the afternoon. And I, could, I think we could see a few uh, sunny breaks here and there throughout the second half of your Saturday as drier air works in. But it's not going to last for too much longer as another wave of rain slides through the area. We rise to the low to mid 50s heading into Sunday and then looking a little bit drier into your Tuesday. All right, stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in the App Store and watch our live radar and also get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Street. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.